So, um, for those that are new to the channel or whatever, or subscribe to me, you're wondering why I'm wearing a mask. I said it in the last video, I'm not trying to get the ignorance virus. I'm just not. A lot of you all that watch my videos are straight up ignorant. And I don't want to catch that virus. It's a lot of ignorance that's going on. Specifically in the black community, I'm just fed up. Straight up. So, I'm going to wear this mask until some of you all get rid of the ignorance virus. Not all of them. Because there are going to be some ignorant people around. I understand that. But for the most part, some of you all need to get rid of it. And then once you all get rid of it, I'll take this off. Straight up. So let's get to the matter at hand. Black people that are in positions of power have no power. I'm going to say it again. Black people that are in positions of power have no power. Just think about it like this. I live in Charlotte, North Carolina, right? They did a special on the news. I'm pointing over in the direction of my TV. That's why I did that. They did a special on the news. It's WBTV, um, Channel 3, right? And they have this slogan that says, we're on your side, right? So WBT News is, is here to re report what's going on in our you know, communities. Black communities in specific, right? So they did this, this this special report. It aired last week. Charlatans know all about it. They look at the news about uh, police, the police force in our in our communities, right? Our black communities. So they gave us this statistic or percentage, rather. I'm sorry, this percent percentage of uh, people that they stop. You know, for whatever reasons, you know, uh, misdemeanor, you know, you know, license plate bad, or drugs, or whatever have you. And 90% of the people that they stop are minorities. Specifically black people. Do you know that that's an astronomical number? 90% of people that they stop are raid, or whatever it may be. As far as dealing with the police force are minorities. Now, some may say, Langston, well, you know, make your point. I mean, what, what are you trying to say? My point is being made. We have black, a, a vast majority of black people that's on the city council. We have a black mayor. I'm going to go back to say it again. Black people that are in positions of power have no power. And if they so let's just say the white man gives them that, right? They know better. They know that they can't do anything for black people. It's just that plain and simple. They know that they can't do anything for black people. And if, if, it's, if it's not that, they just don't care. They, they think with an individual mind. Period. Look at Atlanta. Atlanta is black across the board. Black uh, lieutenant. Mayor, all the elect, elected uh, officials, majority of elected officials that's in the local government in Atlanta are black. And I know some of you people may say, man, you always talking about Atlanta. I'm not talking about the people in specific. That's not, that's not whom I'm referring to. I'm talking about the, 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 um, the transplants that, that have came to Atlanta and messed it up. And the local government. I'm not talking about the, the Atlanteans. The Lantians are cool. It's just the people that came into the city that messed it up and the local government that's there. But just look at the local government. And then look how fucked up Atlanta is. You think that they don't have the power to change that? Oh, I'll give you the answer. They don't. And like I said before, even if they did, they won't because they know that they have to stay in place. See, what y'all fail to realize is no matter if it's Barack Obama, no matter who they put in front of us, right? Whatever position of power that they, they that black people are in, to the highest of being the president of the United States, black people still know their place. This society is still being ran by white people. It's just that now it's <laughs> you you can't see. You can't see them, but they're behind the curtain. 
So every time black people get up and say, oh my God, you know, we need to vote, we need to do this, and and and, and, and this person's gonna be for us, and blah, 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 blah. You, you getting hyped for no reason. You getting hyped for no reason. Now the smoke is cleared. What is Camelia Harris really doing? Besides being the first black woman female president. Well, they say it like this, the first black slash East Indian female president. Besides that, what is she really doing? And I need it to, see this is the thing. People will sit back and say, well, she don't supposed to do this. Your local government is supposed to blah, 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 blah. This, motherfucker, what did we elect these people for, man? If you're gonna if you're gonna take them off the table and make excuses for them, why do we vote for them? We voted for change. I know as a black person, right? When I voted, I, I only voted one time, right? And the only reason why, and that's another story, but you know, I'm not gonna get into that because that's another story. The only reason why I voted for the Barack Obama the first time is because I was called in a cult, caught in a cult, you know, called the Nuwabian Nation, and the, the the leader of the cult. Or the cult leader was named Dr. Melakazi York. He said, "Vote for them, for him, because it may be an opportunity or a chance that Barack Obama may grant him clemency." The end. I was involved in the cult at the time, and now, you know that's what we did. Other than that, I've never. Oh, excuse me. Prior to that, I voted um, when I was living in Jamaica, Queens, and I just voted all Democrat because guess what? That's that was the black thing to do. Didn't care. It didn't matter. I didn't do any type of intensive research to find out were these people the right fit. I just voted Democrat because that's what black people do. But I can tell you throughout all my years, man, I've seen black people be, be put in, excuse me, prior to that, beg and plead for the black community's vote. Right? They get it. They, they get elected. They get in uh, positions of power, and next thing you know, they don't give two flying shits about us. That plain and simple. And it's just, people may sit back and say, well, Blankson, why did you do this video? You know, what was, what was the point of doing this video? The point is, is that at the end of the day, the only people or persons that's going to help us is us. That's it. Don't rely on your government, your local government to do anything for you. That plain and simple, it's just, it's not complicated, man. Just think about it. Just think about how many black elected officials that we've had local, uh, lo uh, in our local government as well as up there in Capitol Hill. What have they really done? What changes have really made, have been made? They've talked a good game. They've talked about, system excuse me, in 2020, they just now recognize systematic racism. In 2020, I've never heard them say that ever. The only, the only, t the only time I've heard th that type of jogging was in a black community. Excuse me, the conscious community. That's it. I've never heard any politician talk about systemic uh, uh, racism or redlining. Never in my life. And I've been here quite, quite, a, quite a, a long time. You know what I'm saying? I'm older. Never in my life have I heard that. Never in my life have I heard about how. Uh, gentrification is affecting the black community. Never have I heard that. But guess what? Guess what, black folks? They, t they made you look like a goddamn fool last year. You want to know why? Because they took George Floyd's life, right? And they <laughs> exploited him and made millions off of y'all with this Black Lives Matter, black Lives Matter campaign. I can't breathe campaign, all that rest of that shit. Corporations made millions off of y'all, and y'all didn't even see it. Y'all didn't even see it. I saw it and I was shaking my head like, this is some bullshit. <laughs> this is some straight up bullshit, and I just don't understand how black people are not getting it. How in the world is it that we went from Ka Colin Kaepernick kneeling, right? And people just going ape shit about that, right? And the NFL is going ape shit about that. To now the NFL has on their football fields Black Lives Matter. Now in the NBA on the basketball courts they have Black Lives Matter. Get out of here, man, with that bullshit. I love Charlotte, man. I don't love Charlotte the city. I love the people. 
You understand? Because everywhere you go, people will say, oh, I love Atlanta, or I love New York. No, you love the people. The people are the culture. It's not just the big city lights and the buildings and shit like that. It's the people. The, the people actually built that shit. So you love the people, you love the culture. I love the culture of Charlotte. But at the end of the day, stop it with the bullshit. They put this mural. I knew they was gonna take it down. I knew they was gonna take that shit down. Charlotte teens, you knew that shit. They put that shit dead, dead in the middle of, of uh, North Tryon. And in the middle of, like somewhat in the middle of Uptown. They blocked it off. You know, this past summer, you could have went up there, and it was beautiful. I was proud of Charlotte. And then guess what? I knew it was going to happen. They took the borders off. I think this happened around October, November, and now you can't even see it anymore. I knew that Black Lives Matter mural, mural was going to be gone. Just like every Black Lives mural that's on every street that they put it on is gone now. Because now, it's over. It's over. They have polarized this whole black, you know, p police officers killing uh, black people. They polarized George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, and now it's on to the next. So when y'all gonna get it, man? How many, how many lies are gonna have to be taken? How many politicians are gonna have to lie to you in your face until you understand that they don't give two flying fucks about you? Straight up. And some may sit back and say, I've heard this all day, every day. You know what I'm saying? When I talk about Dr. Malakazi York, they say this. Well, uh, what are you going to do? Have you been, have, do you have some land? And da 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 The same thing with the situation when I talk about politicians. They turn around and say, well, what are you going to do? No, motherfucker, what are you going to do? That's the problem. You're always relying on one person to save you. Haven't you learned that? Haven't you learned that? What's your, your, your religion called Christianity? Well, Jesus was supposed to come back, and he came back yet. You still relying on one person to do the job. I can't do it by myself. And even if I could, I wouldn't. It's too much. It's too much work. And you all ain't worth it. My family is, but you all are not. Because nine times out of ten, you'll sit there and let me bust my motherfucking ass and halfway kill myself, right? Now let's say in the case of Dr. Martin Luther King, I get my head blown off because of you all, trying to help you all out, right? Can't see my family, my children anymore. And they, they make a day out, out, out of the year for me, right? And y'all smoke, drink, get high, and all the rest of that shit on my day that they made for me. Man, get out of here, man. I know true Negroes. I know true Negroes. I know that that's how y'all get down. I've been around Negroes, and I want to use the other thing. Niggas, I've been around niggas all my life Straight up, so I know how you get down You expecting somebody to, to save you You want all the weight on one, one person, that's crazy to me Y'all can have that shit, I'm not doing it I'm just not And if you continue to rely on your politicians, guess what, when they fuck you don't come crying to me talking about some man links to you were very blah 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 blah. Let, let me tell you something. You know what I'm, I'm gonna tell you when they fuck you? I'm gonna tell you, yo, listen, next time they fuck you, just make sure you lubricate your asshole with KY jelly. My name is Links in 2092. I want you to like, comment, subscribe, and definitely share this video. Peace. <laughs>